Oh, there you are, sis. I was just coming to call you. Oh, yeah. has the driver loaded everything into the van? Yes, he has. He's only waiting for your instruction. Okay, we shall ride together and I take it that you are ready. Yeah, I mean, do I have a choice here? Mm. Oh, seriously, I still do not know why the clients will have to insist we do the cooking at his place. I mean, yeah, we could have equally do it here and perfectly too. Well, you shouldn't have accepted to that agreement anyways. Uh, uh, come on. It's not every day you get an exclusive offer like this to feed a thousand mouths. Come on, what do they call it? Cream de la cream wedding. <laughs> What's our motto again? Yeah, whatever. Oh, our customer satisfaction is guaranteed. So, if our customer wants us in the faraway land, a faraway land, here we go. All right, get the things. Let's go. All right. Boss lady, why don't I be your driver for today? Okay, let me just open the boat first. Okay. <clears throat> oh, At your service. Let's, let's go. delicious delight. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Likewise. My name is Chinenye and my friends call me Nenye. You can as well call me Nenye. <laughs> and this is my sister, Oma. She's oh. also my business assistant. You're highly welcome. It's Oma. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, I am Valerie the bride to be. <laughs> Gosh, I am so excited about my forthcoming wedding. <laughs> I simply want everything to be perfect on that day. And that was why I chose you, by the way. <laughs> Let me say you come highly recommended. Thank you. And I promise you we will not disappoint. <laughs> of course I know you wouldn't. Uh, yes, I'm going to show you to the BQ. That's where you're going to be staying during the duration of the wedding. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, you're so. welcome. Um, please, um, do you want me to no, assist no, no, you with anything? Oh, okay. <laughs> you're welcome. All right, okay, here we are, please come in, yeah, I, I hope you and your sister will be comfortable in here. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. we will be, and please Valerie, enough for the formality, okay, Nenya will do. <laughs> Nenya it is then. Okay, um, Nenya, my in-laws will be arriving later this evening, as a matter of fact, my fiancé went to pick them up from the airport. So I was thinking if you could kindly prepare something really light and refreshing for everyone. <laughs> of course, what are we here for? <laughs> yeah, right. And look, I am almost late for my dress fitting. So I have to be on my way. And lest I forget, someone will come show you the kitchen and the main house. So please, if you need anything, do not hesitate to let me know. That will be fine. <laughs> it's All right. okay. All okay. Right Bye. Bye, Valerie. All right. Oh, gosh. Some girls just have all the luck in the world. I'm not doubt about her. Her fiance will be very rich. Like, <laughs> very, very loaded. Of course, I guess so. Come on. You know, someone who would hire a caterer four days prior to the wedding. Yeah. It's not beans. Whew. All right, enough of all this talk. You heard her. She said her in-laws will be coming in in a matter of hours. So let's get settled and start making dinner. Yeah, sure, boss. But after this job, 
You're sure going to raise me? You don't know. Yep. Hey. Welcome home. Hey, what? Mm. Welcome home. Yes, yeah, so thank yeah. goodness we are you okay? finally here. All right. Hey. Yo, you, you good? Hey. Right. That flight seemed to last for ages. Hi. Right. <laughs> That's not true, mother. The flight was right on schedule. I mean, it was your averseness to air travel that got to you. What do you expect? When one is caged in that horrible contraption you people call an airplane for hours. Let me tell you, any right-thinking being will be averse to it too. Oh, Mama, you better start getting used to that thing you call the contraption because once my relocation plans work out, you have no other option than to come visit me in Obudo, Ibo. Did you hear ah, that? Mommy, <laughs> ah, mommy, ah. <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> Almost am to to you. Eh, uh, nah. Mm -hmm. Hasn't my daughter-in-law heard my voice? Or she's not aware that I was coming today? She's aware you're coming. But she um, actually has her dress fitting scheduled for today, so um, she had to go. But don't worry, I'm sure she'll stop by. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom? Mm -hmm. Show you to your room. Eh, uh, no. Let me go and, uh, and relieve Yo, myself. Yo, get the bags. Let's go. Come. Uh, uh, What is on your mind? You've been carrying this your expression ever since we entered this room. What is it? Adora. Yes, Mama. Tell me, what sort of daughter-in-law will prefer to go out instead of waiting to receive her mother-in-law? Hey, if I start now, you people will say I'm comparing. If it were to be my daughter, Chichi, hey, Chichi Mwam. She would have waited for me. She would even prepare my favorite meal. Good heavens, woman. Your ex-daughter-in-law. It's been three years since Emeka and his ex-wife splitted. I can't believe you still hung up on her. Well, it's because good girls like her are scarce. I don't even know why Emeka did not fight hard to keep Chichi. Hi. I still prefer her anytime, any day, to this frivolous bitch that he wants to saddle himself with in the name of her wife. Mama, can you listen to yourself? Emeka and his ex-wife chose to go their different ways. And life must go on for my brother. And I'd advise that you shove your prejudice with Valerie. So you both can blend like mother and daughter-in-law. Okay. <laughs> Do you think she prepared a meal for us? You see that one, the way I see her. I, I think she will be more interested in fixing nails, going to cinemas, eating takeouts, instead of being a good housewife. Mama, you are so impossible. There is nothing wrong with fixing nails, going to the cinema, or eating takeouts. If you ask me, I think the whole idea of being a good wife is an cake notion. Like, my children, what do you even know? Mama. I know enough to know that you are trying to spoil things. You don't want to like our new wife, and I am not going to encourage that. Mama, let's go so I can prepare you something very delicious. That, of course, if our new wife has not prepared something. Let's go. You will like it. Come on. Come on. You will yeah. like her. I'm waiting. Delicious. You know, it's, it 
it reminds me of uh, Chichi, your ex-wife's cooking. Oh. Amy, is it that uh, Valerie came back to her senses and returned to prepare something for us to eat? <laughs> no, Mom. Valerie isn't back, so I forgot to tell you. She instructed the caterer to prepare something very delicious for you. Hey! You mean your wife-to-be has brought in a stranger already into her kitchen? Sure. Amy, don't mind, Mama. Please tell me, did you say a caterer or you meant to say your cook? Yeah, a caterer. I mean, um, we hired her for the weekend. <gasps> you don't say? Yeah. Mama, did you hear that? Hey! So, why didn't you warn me so I could come along with my porch medicine since we'll be having a fiesta? Oh, really? <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Really? You can't be serious. That's what it is. Don't give me that. Listen, get some drink for mama. I'll go check on our food, alright? Okay. Uh him nagahamu. Mama, what kept you, eh? What kept you? I can hear voices in the parlor. Please, just go and tell them that dinner is served. Hi, my name is not Oma. Hey, Mika. Hey, Chilean. Are you okay? Amy, how far is the food ready? Leave me alone. Chilean, what? I'm sorry, excuse me, Mika. I'm not sure I really understand what just happened now. What is your expert in here doing in your kitchen? to you. You need to calm down. Slow down before you hurt yourself or something. Oh, what? Excuse me? Hurt myself? Are you trying to make fun of me? Really? Is this some sick joke or some nightmare? I'm calling it a quit. Really? Mm -hmm. Because you met me here. Because you coincidentally met me here. Oh, yes. Yes. And unfortunately, I cannot stand being near your insufferable presence. Help me tender my apologies to the intending couple. I shall leave at the break of dawn, okay? Is it? It is time for you to get up and go and get dressed. I've taken the liberty to get our things packed. Please just go and get ready. Get ready? Where are we going? Going home. Isn't it obvious? Oh, I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not here for a job. The contract has been cancelled, and before you ask me further questions, know that I'm not in the mood, alright? So get up and go bait. Okay, boss, I can get up from there. I'm allowed to sleep small. Adora. Adora. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Adora, wake up. There's something I need to understand. Uh. Adora. Huh? Mama. <laughs> the thing that transpired in this house last night. Did you say that you saw my daughter Chineye in this house last night? Yes, Mama. 
to say that I was shocked when I saw her would be putting it mildly. Mama, I saw Chinenye, your ex-daughter-in-law, mind you, in the kitchen. Hmm. Mama, Chinenye is the caterer they hired. Hey, how can that be now? Is it that your brother Emeka and Chinenye? It's not possible. I mean, Emeka cannot be planning a wedding. I'm planning to reconcile with Chinenye. Ah, of course not, ma'am. Mama, no, no. See, what happened is that Amy and Valerie employed Chinenye to be their caterer without knowing who she really is. Hey, how could they make such a mistake? I don't know. Ma, I don't know. But it's a mistake that can be corrected. Hmm? My brother now is, I'm wondering how Valerie will feel by the time she finds out the true identity of the person she hired to cook for her wedding. <laughs> yes, <so well. laughs> ah, ah, Mama, what's funny? That will be an interesting turn of events. <laughs> Although, if you ask me, I will say that God is trying to tell Emeka, my son, something. Ah, Mama, forget it. God is not trying to tell Emeka anything. The mistake has been made and it can also be corrected. Mama, I know your problem. You're just too biased for your own good and I know why. I know why, Mama. What do you know? You children think you know everything. But let me tell you what I as an adult see sitting down. If you like, climb on top of the tree, you will not see it. Mama, forget it. Forget those your archaic adages on this one. It's not here. You didn't see anything sitting down. Nothing they happen. Please, I didn't even know it's the system that you woke somebody up for. <laughs> okay. Goodness gracious. Of all days, what are you still doing? I'm just trying to fix my makeup. It's the final touch. What huh? is the final touch? Listen, we just have to leave, okay? Please. But Nay, what's even the sudden hurry for? What, what, what's all this? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Keep putting these things. Let's go. I'm coming. Just... You're going to. You're going to... I've all not right. fixed this okay. one. Yeah, very, very important. I mean, the earlier the better. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I I mean I keep saying this all the time. It's it's like Katie. Hey, wait, wait, you know what? Let me call you right back, okay? okay. Let me call you back. Hey. Hi baby. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Oh there. What? This strong embrace here engulfing me last night. I really missed it. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. If not for my aunt and her drastic conventional ways that I insist I must be sleeping at home for a few days before our wedding. Maybe we'll just have three more days to go and we're fine. <laughs> three days. I honestly I can't know. wait. <laughs> I honestly can't wait, I know. baby. Mm. Is that not? No, you know, like uh, I've always told you. It's gonna take <laughs> I miss you too. Here. It's too, it's too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh! Hi, Miss Naya. Hi. Come, come, come. Please come over here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think they... Oh, yeah, please come. Um, so, babe, permit yeah. me to introduce to you Miss Naya, right. the CEO of Delicious Delight, and her sister, Omar. Hey, and Naya, it's actually a pleasure to uh, see you again. You know, I was telling myself a while ago that a pretty woman like you should be married. I mean, you're successful and uh, you should have all the men drooling and fighting themselves to, you know, be with you. <laughs> Make no mistakes. Men are still drooling and fighting over themselves. Let's just say my first experience wasn't anything to write home about, as my ex was a total scum. So I'll pass. Oh, come on, Miss Mayer. Sorry about that. You shouldn't just write off men just because of one bad experience. <laughs> Valerie, you wouldn't understand. Well, uh, suffice it to say that I pity the girl or the woman the fool will marry. You know, the fool I call my ex. Uh, 
Well, if you say so. Mm. But, I mean, where are you guys going with your luggage? Oh, uh, yes, there's a problem. It's just that the beak... Yeah, I couldn't... Yeah, but... Um, I didn't tell you. I'm sorry about that. So, the there's a, there's a leakage on the roof. So I actually told them to come to the guest room downstairs. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. Yeah. Please come, let me show you to the guest room. Yeah. After you guys. Sure. Uh, I'll go. just help with the... Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> come in. The man is right there. Yeah. <laughs> right here. So, come. Hello. Excuse me. May I ask what's going on here? Nothing much, nothing much, sis. You see, I was just about showing them to their room. Yeah, this room actually. <laughs> and by the way, meet Miss Nair, the CEO of Delicious Delights. Miss Nair, Adora. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, well, hello, Miss Nair. Hello, Miss Adora. Valerie, you were about showing us to our room. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, please. I, I just opened the door. Got some questions to answer. Follow me. Emika, yeah. are you out of your senses? Out of my senses. What is Chinaya doing here? Really? Is this why you called me out here? Can you stop behaving like you don't know what is happening? Okay, you heard Valerie. She's the caterer, yeah. What is your ex-wife doing in your house, posing as your wedding caterer? Well, I didn't employ her. Valerie did. Besides, uh, I'm sure she's very good at what she does and that's why she's here. And so what, Emeka? When you found out she was the one, why didn't you just send her packing? Imagine how disastrous this will be when Valerie finds out about it. So who's going to tell her? You? You never can tell her, I just want to tell her. Listen, I believe she's here to do her job, and after that, she's going to go away and everyone is going to be fine. Really? Yes. Mika, have you really gotten over her? I know how much she hurts you. And I also know how much you loved her. Listen to me, I'm just worried about how you're setting yourself up here, even with- Ada, I think you really need to slow down, because you don't know what you're talking about. And, um, I, I, I don't want to have this conversation. Alright? I'm trying to. No, seriously, I don't want to have this conversation again. Why can't you just see that I'm trying to help you out here? Oh, God. There is no way I'm letting that big tell me what to do. Who the hell does he think he is? Oh my gosh, Neye. Who could believe that your ex is the groom in the wedding you have been paid to cook for? Ha! Ah, now I realize the reason behind the sudden change to cancel. Now you know. So, does it mean he owns this house? I mean, obviously, right? But who would have ever thought that Emeka would end up becoming so wealthy? I'm sure you didn't know he's the one, or you would never have taken up the cooking contract. Damn right! I would have cancelled it! I would have cancelled it! And mind you, Emeka ceased to be mine three years ago. He's no longer mine. And I don't care if he is rich or if he's poor. All right, fine. What? I'm sorry. Do not bite off my head. Okay, if you don't mind my accent. What do you intend to do now? Because from the look of things, he still wants you to do this job. I don't care what he thinks. I don't care what he wants. Oh, Naya, calm down. Calm down. See, see, you're beginning to sound so unprofessional right now. What? Jesus, oh my me. Sound unprofessional. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I see you want to stay and do the job, right? All right, do it as the professional that you are. Do it, but just know this, that this is the height of disloyalty to me. Nonsense, rubbish. You can stay and do the job for all I care. I wouldn't leave if I were you. 
You won't make me stay if I don't want to. It is still my prerogative. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so, Naya, tell me. When did you become a coward? I mean, I know you. You are never the one to run away or abscond in the face of a challenge. So, I'll take this to be you do not trust yourself around me. Or, do you still have feelings for me? Oh, please, don't delude yourself, Emeka, okay? I got over you a long time ago. And it baffles me, actually. If there is any feelings left for you in me, let's say it's a feeling of repulsion, disgust, and total aversion of everything that makes you you. Oh, great. So that means uh, you can't do the job you've been paid to do. Are you not worried that, given the way I feel about you, I might as well poison you in the process? Naya, I'll be mindful of anything prepared by you. But trust me, you see this job? You're going to do it. If not, my name is not Emeka. You can't make me. I can. Nenye, do not underestimate the power of social media. I'll drag you on every platform. By the time I am done with you, your name, Delicious Delight, will cease to exist. You won't dare. <laughs> Nenye, you do not want to know what I would or wouldn't dare. Hmm. I must give it to you, sis. Your attitude was totally unprofessional. In fact, I don't even blame Emeka for threatening you. Is that so? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. No, tell me. You want to leave your client high and dry and choose to losing a whole lot of money and your reputation just because Emeka accused you of still having feelings for him. But you need to prove every other person involved in this wrong that you have truly moved on. Good, good, good. You know how he hurt me. You of all people know how hard I tried. How hard I've worked to get to this point. To become who I am today. Right. I know, I know. I know it hurts. I think I want some adjustment to the meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. We ordered for 400 plates of emerald, right? Yes. Which is Chinese food and everything that comes with it. Oh, yes. Um, we have 350 plates of the diamond, mm -hmm. which is jello fries, fried rice, and its assortment. And lastly, the gold, um, mm -hmm. which is everything African. And it's for 250 plates. That's making it a total of 1,000 plates for 1,000 people. Now, mm -hmm. what do you need me to make the adjustments? Let's make the emerald 300 plates, and then we will make the gold 400 plates because majority of the guests are Igbos. We can leave the diamond for 300 plates. I think that should balance everything to 1,000, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make the adjustments. Anything else? I guess that's about it. Good morning, Megan. Hi. <laughs> Mama, good morning. You're still around, Chinaya. I see. Obviously, I am Adora. I mean, she's my kitchen, remember? Oh, I never forgot. Only that I thought she must have left for very obvious reasons. Obvious reasons? <laughs> I'll leave her to explain herself, as I have no inkling as to what she's talking about. Good morning, Ma. I'll see you later. Now, what was that all about? <sighs> Breakfast. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. 
Oh. Mm. I mean, I thought I told you guys here, but I thought you were joking. So you come here, bring it in. Ah, uh, cool. long time. Long time, it's yeah. Crazy. Good to see you too. Hey, bro, how have you been? I've been good, good, just there. Sure. I'll see you later. Yeah. You okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you guys were here. No, that's okay. I'll just uh, see her off. Okay. Uh, oh, Valerie, you're leaving? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, a quick one. I'll be leaving for the market later in the day to get those things I told you that I'll be needing. Oh, yes, yes. Well, in that case, why not you go with my fiancé? Yes, he's also going to the market. Aren't you, honey? Yes, babe, I am. Okay. Uh, no, come on. I wouldn't want to disturb you guys. No, that's okay. I, I don't mind. It's all right. It's settled then? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I wish you guys a safe drive. All right, there you go. Thank you, baby. Mm. Thank you. All right, hey, careful, yeah? Hi there. All right, um, shall we? Uh, let me go get uh, my bag. Yes. I was coming to get the door for you. I already did, thank you. Chinaya, don't tell me you're one of those women who misconstrue the act of gallantry from a gentleman as an insult. <laughs> Emeka, I am a queen, and I expect acts of gallantry from men. But I take an exception to liars and hypocrites who pose as one. So shall we? Chine, Chine, I know you're still mad at me. You must think highly of yourself. What part of I have moved on don't you understand? Chine, I get it. I understand. But please, can we pretend to be friends? At least for the duration of the wedding? Besides, I don't want Valerie to suspect me or know anything about my past with you. Wow, woo! <laughs> Shocker. I don't care what you tell Valerie or don't tell Valerie. Do you understand it? All I'm here to do is my job. And after that, I'll get the hell away from your lives. Do you understand it? So let's go. Chinea, please. I'm begging you. Let's be friends for now. Okay? Well, friends, we shall be for the duration that I'm around you guys. This thing called love The type that comes from above Is so powerful and wonderful It's like a gift passed from God Oh, when it fights you You'll be hooked Oh, when it fights you You'll have no choice but to love it doesn't matter oh, who you are, whether rich or poor. Oh, when love finds you, you have no other choice but to love and be loved and be done. Ah, no one can stop it, no matter what they do or say. Oh, because it's Kind of love from God. Love is a gift from above. True love is a gift from God. Love is a gift from above. True love is a gift from God. Love is 
from the young and mature girl you married three years ago? Of course. I mean, you're very mature now. You're doing well for yourself. You're successful. It's well, thank you. But I was going to ask you, how come you're not married? You know, I thought that after us, you'd probably get married and start having kids or something. No, thank you. You know, I don't think I'm cut out for all that disloyalty in marriage, in any relationship, so I'll pass. Really? I know you said that because of me. <laughs> well, yeah, I uh, updated men after us. Men? Yes, men. Not even one? I said men. Oh, my bad. <laughs> updated men, and uh, I have friends whose um, marriage relationships hasn't worked out well, so I concluded that it seems you guys don't know what it means to love, what it means to be loyal in relationships. So, I told myself that it is best for me to get pregnant, become a single mom. What? Oh my God, do you want to kill us? What's wrong with you? Single mom? Yes, single mom. Watch. And I mean what I said. Well, come on. A single mother? Chinaya, come on now. I, w I wouldn't let you do that. I mean, I won't let you spoil your reputation and everything you've worked for just to end up a single mother. Really? And who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do? I don't get it. Whoa! Did you listen to yourself? I mean what I said, being a single mom, please. Sorry, I is too loud. What's wrong with you? God! What are you doing? Nameka, you're driving so fast. You should stop. talking to you. Mm, please, listen. You listen to me. Why, why was I even thinking that we could be friends? 
What? It is obviously a bad idea. Why not, Mayor? Why not? Why not? I am here to do a job. Do you understand it? And not to be friends with the groom. Listen, I'm sure we can talk Leave to Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? <coughs> Good day, ma. Hey, what about the things in the car? I will get them later. Mom, where are you going? I'm sure you're about to tell me. I saw Nene and your brother in a kind of argument. Okay, and so? Don't you understand? They were like in an odd situation. Odd situation? Mm. <laughs> Mama, Nene. what are you trying to say? Ada, mm? I think Nene's stay here is getting to your brother. And he's trying very hard not to let it show. Mm. Are you sure about this, Mama? <laughs> Hi. The great. For the honeymoon. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You like it? Mm -hmm. So much. Hey! <laughs> Obina! <laughs> Obina! Bro! Annie, Annie. Annie. Hey, look at Obina! You're welcome! You're welcome! Thank you, Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're have welcome, sir. Have, have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, thank you. Oh thank my you. god, we were actually having a... Uh, um... Obina, do you know I thought you weren't coming? I thought you were joking, I mean, I thought you were going to stand me up and not come eventually. For real? Yes! And miss the opportunity of being a best man for the first time in my life? I, I know. <laughs> Well, I know. you are highly welcome, Obina. I'm sure you must be tired from your trip. Of course. So hey, why don't you just go up and no, freshen no, no. up? No, no, come, come. Let me show you to your room. That would be nice. Ah, Emmy, there's this thought I was having. Yeah. You know, we need to have an epic bachelor's eve. So while I was coming here, I had this thought in my mind. Yeah. We get those long leg belly dancers. What? Oh, okay. No, uh, no, not happening. But it's the bachelor's seat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I, I do not approve of it. No. I know, I know. No. I it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> let me just, let me take you to your... Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Emmy. Thank you. Thank you. Bro. It's cool. It's cool. It's been good. Guy, right? guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I'll just come back. No, 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 that, that's okay. I... I was about leaving. Come in. Hi. Hi. Listen, I apologize for what I said earlier today. Oh, no. That's water under the bridge. No apology needed. Oh, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, wait. So, Chinen, tell me. Tell me about your new plans of becoming a single mother. Why? I mean, why do you want to know? Well, let's say I'm intrigued uh, to think that you're the first woman I know who wants to become a single mother, you know, without monetary gains or by coincidence. <laughs> well, you're correct. I love kids, and uh, since it feels like I'm not going to remarry, I think being a single mom is the best option. Oh, great. So tell me, how do you intend to do this? So I'm guessing you would get pregnant via artificial insemination since you don't like men anymore. Excuse me? Who says I don't love men? I still like men. Okay, so don't tell me you're going to have sex with someone you don't know, a stranger, like a random guy. 
choose to get pregnant. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> that's the best way to make babies. <sighs> right. Chinea, you know, I know you to be a very good girl. So when did you become this reckless? What? Lose. Don't you dare! Who exactly is this tyrant directed at? Oh, no, wait, let me guess. My brother-in-law, am I right? We got a divorce, which means he has no say in my life. He does not have anything to say to what choices I make. I get the point. You have it there. Don't tell me and make her dare to overstep his boundaries. Tell me what right he has to disapprove of my choices of being a single mom. He called me wayward. Can you believe that? Oh, well, if I am to say, I must be frank with you, ne? That plan of yours is bizarre and mind-boggling. I, I don't blame a maker for overreacting. He should mind his bloody business. Uh, but wait, oh, Naya, you seem too worked up about this little issue. Are you sure you're just only angry about the fact that he chose to put his mouth in your business? What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're more hurt over his low opinion over you than anything else. Oh, please, stop talking rubbish. I care less about his opinion, please. Oh, no, yeah. Emeka. I think you need this. Thank you, ma'am. After the hot slap I witnessed. <clears throat> Tell me how your ex-wife managed to be the caterer of your wedding. I don't know. Obin, I don't know. Maybe a stroke of bad luck. Well, that would have passed. But I don't believe in luck. Good or bad. Naya drives me crazy. Can you imagine? She's trying to sleep with a man just because she wants to become a baby mama. What nonsense is that? And how is that supposed to be your problem? The last time I checked, she was your ex-wife. And ex in this case means terminated. Done with. Not your problem. Obina, you don't understand. I feel like it's my problem. I can't let Naye mess up herself, mess up her reputation. Everything that makes her that woman I used to know. I can't let her do that. Emmy, I understand every bit of what you're trying to say. But you should have this at the back of your mind that she is your ex. She's moved on. She can do whatever she wants. I'm just trying to help her. Ah. Gosh. Mama, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mama, have you sworn to be enemies with me? Mm. What do you want me to do when you totally rejected us? <laughs> Mama, me reject you. Mama, you and I used to be best of friends. That I divorced your son does not mean we should be enemies, so... But why? Chichi, why? After I pleaded with you, what is it that my son Emeka did? Did Emeka murder somebody? Mm -mm. And yet, you could not forgive him. After all my pleading, you blocked your heart. Why? Mama, I am sorry, but you will not understand. Neither do you understand, Chineye. You don't understand. Do you know that that word forgiveness was created simply because there will be errors and mistakes to be forgiven? But I forgive him, Mika. Mm -hmm. Yes, it took me a long time, but I did. I am happy that him and Valerie will be starting a life soon. Valerie? Valerie is a good girl, but according to the Bible, you and Emeka are bound till death. And that leaves Valerie as nothing but a concubine. Yes, my son's adulterous partner, and it's all thanks to you. Mama, please 
please don't let Valerie hear you talking about her like this. But it's the truth. <laughs> Mama, not in this time and age anymore, okay? It is only religion that still binds people together, seeing that it's obvious there is no love. My dear Chinenye, the word of God still stands sure. And that is the only measure. Yes, you're very correct. But notwithstanding, your son and Valerie are starting a life soon and let's be happy about it. Mama, let's be friends now. Thank you. And Mama, yeah. you are going to keep a space for me so that we can take pictures. It's because you know I love you. That's <laughs> <laughs> See you. <laughs> oh. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Uh, mm. Mama, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Are you sure everything is okay? Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, uh, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Can't go. Everything is fine. I imagine it must be hard. What? I'm sorry. I didn't realize someone was here. It's okay. I uh, actually came to check on you. I mean, it must be hard for you being here in the maker's house and seeing the full family. All of a sudden, it must have come as a shock. Well, I suppose you're right. Okay, so let me ask you something. Go ahead. Mm, how do you feel being here, you know, seeing Emeka again? <laughs> Am I supposed to feel any particular way? I mean, considering you guys had a bit of a history, uh, and I know how much you, you two love each other, it must be hard. <laughs> well, that is what under the bridge now. Um, it's three years and counting. And besides, your brother is getting married again. <laughs> and I am happy for him. Trust me. It's okay. Well, I mean, the thing you two had going on was really wonderful and it's such a pity. What is a pity exactly? <laughs> like, it was a very beautiful relationship. If I'm being very honest, I used to be kind of envious of you two, but at the time I let it go because you're perfect and now all this just it just happened so fast but i mean i guess you just have to let things go yeah so, anyway uh, you, you want a drink or something looks like it's a drink uh yes all right <laughs> let me get one okay. <laughs> Nay. Oh, hi. Hi. What are you doing here? You couldn't sleep as well? I suppose I have a lot on my mind. Oh, I guess. <sighs> so beautiful. Yeah. The weather feels strangely beautiful tonight. Chinea, I wasn't talking about the weather. I was talking about you. <laughs> I mean, you grew beautiful in three years. Emeka, you should know better not to say these words to me. You'll be married very soon. Excuse me. Chinea.
Please. Good morning, Chinea. Good morning, Emeka. So I'm here to apologize for last Nothing night. Nothing happened last night. Do you understand it? I am here to do the job you hired me to do. And after that, I'll live your lives. Do you understand it? So let's put last night behind us. I, I mean, yeah, I, <clears throat> I was going to say that. Um, you see, I love Valerie so much. And I don't want to hurt her. So uh, <laughs> last night was indeed a mistake. And trust me, it's not going to happen again. And uh, so you have a great day. You too. Hey, Adora. Yes, ma'am. Have you noticed the obvious tension that erupts whenever your brother and Chinene comes close to each other. Yes, Mama. In fact, I have a reason to believe that Chinese continues to stay in this house. Spells trouble. We should just hire another Ketra. Trouble? Yes, Mama. Mm. My own is that God should open the eyes of Chinene and their maker to realize their mistake before it is too late. Mm. You don't seem to get it, Mama. The greatest mistake is Amy withholding the fact that the person they had contracted to cook their wedding meal is none other person than his ex-wife, Chinaye. What did you just say? How dare you, Chinaye, or whatever you call yourself, sneak into my house with an ulterior motive? Tell me, what was the plan? What was the plan? Oh, to poison the maker and I? Was that his plan? What? Was that the grand plan? Are you, are you dare you? To to how, how dare you accuse my sister of such nonsense? What the hell do you think? What the hell do you think you are? Hey! Oh, he's back. Keep your voices down. I've got neighbors around. Well, I don't care whoever hears me or not! Emeka, hey, how could you? Why did you hide the identity of the kid away from me? Why didn't you tell me that she is your bloody ex-wife? Valerie. Is this what this is about? Yes, Emeka. That is what this is about. Don't you think I had the right to know? Don't you think I had the right to decide whether or not I want to eat the meal prepared by your ex? Tell me. Valerie, listen. You need to calm down, OK? <laughs> Chine and I are divorced. Mm. She's my ex. We're no longer married. Mm. And I don't think this present predicament should affect her business with you. Yes, I, I, I feel it shouldn't affect your choice of making her your kidra. Really? Well, if you believe that, you can as well believe anything, Nemeka. I don't know about you, but I am not having it. Never! What do you mean by that? What I mean is that your ex-wife is fired. It's either we hire your mother Ketra, Else! Valerie, that's you being unreasonable. Well, you can call it whatever you want to call it. But all I know is I will be the last fool to eat a meal prepared by someone who has a hidden evil agenda. Mm. Valerie, my child, it has not gotten to that. See, tomorrow is your wedding, no? and no Ketra will take up this job. Moreover, Chinenya and her team have started the cooking preparation already. Mwambikon, please. Mama, I don't care. Yes, I don't care, and you had better stay out of this. You know what? It's all your fault. It's all your fault. You all were in this conspiracy together. Yes, you all knew who she is, and you decided to hide the identity away from me. So you better don't come here acting like.
like you are here for me. You all are against me. Enough! Yeah. That's my mother you're talking to. Well, I don't care. I don't care, Emeka. I can talk to anybody however I like it. And I meant what I just said. And you better get this drunk out of here. Else! There will be no wedding. And that is final. show you something but I'll do that later. Why? No. Why don't you show me now? I'll do that later. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, how do you feel? I feel good here with you. Yeah, it's quiet here. I like it quiet. Yeah. Thank you. You good? Yeah, you look quite handsome today. Thank you. You look beautiful as well. Yeah, as always. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Ooh, I think I need to pee. Oh. All right. Okay. I need to use the restroom. Come here. Right. Mm. Wow. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> You're actually the last person I expected to see. Wow, what a stroke of sheer luck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but have we met before? <laughs> Technically, the answer is no. But I'm a very good friend of your dear husband, Emeka. I was present at your wedding. But Emeka, if you to introduce me to you. <laughs> mm. Naughty boy. <laughs> Well, if my husband chose not to introduce you to me, that means you're probably not someone he would want me to associate with. Ouch! <laughs> That's a low blue city. You just made me look like a bad girl. Sorry, I didn't intend to. It's fine. Well, what I meant to say is this. There could be another reason why your husband doesn't want us to meet. Probably the reason why his phone is always locked. <laughs> and, um... How do you know my husband's phone is always locked? Sweetheart, I know a lot of things about your husband, including intimate things. You can ask him about Ella, or if you're curious enough, you can go snooping on his phone. There you will know a lot of things about me. All right, that's enough. Do you understand me? Ella, or whatever your name is called, I trust my husband for your information. And whatever <laughs> you're insinuating, that's your own business. Now, please, get out. <laughs> Stop being naive, sweetheart. Well, I think I'm done here. Good, get out. My regards to our dear Emeka. Take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Oh, come on! What's wrong with you? Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honey, mm -hmm. who is Ella? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what? Who? Who is Ella? Uh, you ran into her on my way home, and uh, she seemed to know you pretty well. Ella, Ella, Ella. Ella. You don't know anyone like that. Ella. No? Never heard that name before. I see. How's your day? 
Beautiful. Hmm? Hmm? Beautiful. Oh, Chine, that's my phone. What are you doing with my phone? That's my phone. Take. Why are you looking at my phone? Take it. <laughs> I thought you claimed not to know her. I can explain. <laughs> Explain what? That the nude photos of the woman you claim not to know suddenly materializes on your phone? I had nothing to do with this. Oh, wow. I have nothing to do with this. Oh, 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 wow. You had nothing to do with this. Like, yes, I, I do have nothing to do with this. Besides, she's in my past. I don't know who she is anymore. <laughs> Explain to me what these photos are doing here. Explain to me why you pretended and you denied knowing her when I asked you. Because I, I feel it wasn't important. She's in my past now. Okay? Wow. Why don't I believe you? Hello, Ella. Hello, Ella. This have hurt you. Oh my, you can't imagine how scared I am right now. This situation is what I've been trying to avoid. I didn't want to be reminded of the fact, but here it is in my presence. He hurts me so bad like he was yesterday. Oh God. You go where you wanted, by now. I hope you're happy now. How can you think that of me? What do you expect me to think? Your behavior reeks of nothing more than suspicious, but tell me why. If not, but you had an ulterior motive, would you accept this job knowing Emeka is your ex? Oh, hold it right there! What is even wrong with you? Before you start bad dying accusations about, let me tell you now, Naya never knew Emeka was the groom until we got here. Oh, really? And don't you think your sister should have rejected the job at that point? No, oh, please! That ought to have been the wisest thing to do, except, of course, you came here to ruin my brother. And that is enough, Adora! I will not sit here and take your insults and accusations for one more minute! Do you understand me? Your brother was the one who actually blackmailed me into continuing this contract. Now, I will not take your presence one more minute in this place. If you don't mind, get out. Oh, you heard her. Leave. Excuse me. Get the hell out. You heard her. Or would you prefer we push you out? You both cannot be serious because this room is part of my brother's house and I am not going anywhere. Need I remind you that? If this is your brother's house, this room is my room. I am the one occupying this room. So if you don't mind, I will repeat myself again. Get out! 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 God, Jesus! It's okay. I didn't want all this. 
she threatened me. Who the hell is Valerie to give me an ultimatum? Well, my friend, what can I say? I, I guess she felt threatened. Although, you on the other hand should have told her about me. But... I couldn't tell her because I know how dramatic she can be. Did you see the way she spoke to my mother? The old woman broke down in tears. Well, I'm sorry that had to happen. But hey, man, you need to calm down. We need to start searching for another Ketra. Because I am pretty sure Chinea won't stay after this. It's, it's my fault. I let this happen. I put her in this. I should have just let her leave when she wanted to leave. Emeka, no need beating around the bush, OK? Any plan B in sight? I, I don't have no plan B. There's no time. There's no time. I don't even know where to find someone as good as Neye. Emeka, the only thing you can do is to go talk to Valet. What? Come on, you know how to cajole your woman. So talk to her, else this whole marriage plan will be ruined. Mika, what are you doing here? Chinea, I came to apologize. I, I saw how Valerie's words hurt you. I'm truly sorry. It's, it's fine. I don't blame Valerie, you know. If I were to be in her shoes, who knows? Of course, I wouldn't take it lightly, knowing that my husband's ex is my caterer. Don't defend Valerie. I mean, Valerie had no right to insult you in front of me, right in my presence. I mean, I understand that we are divorced. But that's not a good reason to insult you, because I know when someone is trying to be disrespectful, Valerie is going to be you. I, I, and you're, you're, you're... I am nothing. Do you understand it? Don't get started now, Emeka. And God forbid I be the reason your wedding will be cancelled. I just have to leave. Chinea, don't do this. Don't act like you don't know what I stand to lose. I mean, no caterer would accept a last-minute arrangement with the meal halfway cooked. I'll talk to Valerie. I'm sure she didn't mean what she said about cancelling the wedding. I don't know, Emeka. I don't. Valerie aside, I don't think I want to continue with this contract. Please, I, I have to leave. Chine, I'm sorry for everything. Please. I need you to do this for me, for all times. Please. Please. Valerie, I need to talk to you. Has that tramp left yet? Has that tramp left? Valerie. That is not the answer to my question. I'm sure you came in here to ask me to reconsider calling off the wedding, right? And I asked you a simple question. Has your stupid ex-wife left or not? Okay, okay, for your information, no. She hasn't left. She was kind enough to stay back after all the insults you rained on her. Oh, how gracious of her to do that. Hmm. But you can go right there and tell her that we need no damn favors from her. I mean, how the hell does she act like a set when she's the devil in this whole drama? Valerie, that's too much insult on that poor girl. She's none of those things. Mm. Yes. And how do you know that? Oh. How do you know that she is not out to hurt us? Really? I know Chinaya very well. Okay? She's the kindest person I've ever seen. She'll never do anything to her to fly. Emeka, can you hear yourself talk? Tell 
me. What kind of man describes his ex-wife in such manner? And yet you claim not to love her? Now I see. No wonder you insisted that she stays and do this job. Okay, tell me. What is the plan? Are you both planning to poison me so that you can get me out of the way? Valerie. Is that it? Valerie, don't be ridiculous for crying out loud. You hired her, right? I had no hand in it. What's wrong with you? Well, thank goodness you recognize the fact that I hired her. And I have every right to throw her the hell out of this house. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. Where is she? Where is she? Wait. Listen, wait. Valerie! So you actually sent Emeka to come make me change my mind so that you both can continue with your illicit affairs under my nose. Is that it? Well, you have failed. You have failed roughly this time. I am so sorry. I can't take this anymore. I just need to leave. Uh, wait, listen. I'm so sorry, okay? I, I, listen. Excuse what me. are you doing? I, I'm sorry. Emeka! Please, don't, don't, don't go, please. I'm sorry. Emeka! And what the hell do you think you're doing? How dare you beg to stop in my presence? How dare you? Calm down, Valerie. Well, my point is, it's already late. If Naya leaves, there is no guarantee that you will get a Ketra in time enough for your wedding tomorrow morning. Damn it! Damn it! And you had better stay out of this. And don't you dare tell me to be reasonable. Don't you dare! I do not want this witch at my wedding. What? And that's final. Are you crazy? Leave me alone. Let me address this girl. What do you mean? What are you afraid of? That I might what? Take a mecca away from you? Maybe put something like a love potion in his meal? Get this straight. If I need a mecca, I would have taken him a long time ago. I don't need to put any love potion in his meal. And then let me address you clearly. Old flames don't totally die. Oma, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear what? Emeka, did you just hear what that witch said? I cannot be with a man who is still strapped over his neck. I can't do that. I hate you. 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 I hate you so much! To hell with you and this, this blasted wedding! To hell with it! See this? I am done! Let me be! Do you know about this, um, it's a new fragrance? Nia, you, you're crying. Oh no. You can't be doing this to yourself. Come here. Nia, be calm. Put yourself together, I thank you. I understand. Crying because of Emeka. You're crying because of him, right? No, not really. No, oh, Naya, don't you lie to me. You're my sister, and I know you too well. You know, it was all a mistake. We wouldn't have gone for that blasted job, you know. If I knew seeing him would have this effect on you, no, I shouldn't have allowed us go. Yes. Yes, I am thinking about my failed marriage. But I'm also thinking about the baby I lost. The baby you lost? Yes. On the day I caught a maker with his lover, I had gone to the doctor. 
And he confirmed I was two months pregnant. Oh, my goodness. And you lost the baby. Yes. I had a fall that led to the miscarriage. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never knew about this. Yes. I made mom and the doctor promise that I wasn't going to tell anybody. It is not your fault. It is nobody's fault. I shouldn't have gone to that address. My baby would have still been here with me. I know. How can you say a thing like that? How can you blame yourself for the baby you lost? No. When we know it's um, Emeka's fault. Mm -mm. It's not Emeka's fault. It is my fault. You know that saying that what you don't know will kill you? I should have had my baby with me now. I should have. I shouldn't have gone to that address. I should not have gone to that address no, 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 at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maya is okay. Please. I hate to see you like this. Good. <laughs> I am so broken. I am so broken. I know. It took me walking down the aisle with Valerie, to know that I'm still in love with Naya. God, I'm sorry to say this. Do you know that you are one big son of a gun? What you've done is enough for one scum babe to pay to get you assassinated. Well, isn't that better than subjecting Valerie to a loveless marriage? So you want her back, right? If you accept me, yeah. Okay then. Go for it. It's better late than never. Right. And remember, I still have the groomsmen tuxedo to be worn, right? <laughs> I'll see you trip, man. Thanks, bro. Take care. Take care. Take care, guy. Okay. Thank you. Emeka, what a surprise. You should have called to book an appointment before coming. I can't see you now. I already have an 11 o'clock appointment scheduled. That won't be necessary anymore because I'm actually your 11 o'clock appointment. Really? Yeah. You tricked me. Yeah. You didn't use your name, else I would have known. So tell me, if you knew I was coming, would you have sent me? No, I wouldn't have. I thought as much. Mm. Anyway, it's good you're here already. Oma told me that you called and said I should hold on to your money. That your wedding has been postponed. Absolutely right. Anyway, Emeka, you have to get a new caterer. I simply cannot cook at your wedding. Yeah, I was going to tell you the same thing. Like, I know it's going to be a huge problem for you to uh, cater at your own wedding. Excuse me, what do you mean? I don't get that. Chine, I mean I want you back. Chinea, it took me three years to realize that I should have never let you go. Hmm. You know, you are an arrogant fool. This is what will happen. Get out. You don't have anything to tell me, so get out.
Chin and ear. Sooner or later, you'll be convinced that you belong to me <laughs> and I belong to you. I make a get out. And make her get out, please. By the way, you look beautiful. Get out. All right. Can you just stop pacing already and tell me what got you so upset? Though I need not <laughs> ask, do I? Can you imagine a maker? Can you imagine him? He had the damn temerity to come into my office and say he wants me back. He wants me? He puts me through. Who the hell does he think he is? Uh, I'm sorry, but this is totally ridiculous. I mean, is he joking or what? Of course he's a damn joker. But you know what? I am going to find myself a stem donor and have my children. Nonsense! Hey, hey, it's okay. Since it's me, Oma, and not your ex, the maker. So, can you just calm down? Why are you scaring me with all that vehemence? I'm sorry. <sighs> Let me calm down. Put yourself together. How the hell did he even come into my office? Hmm? Well, to hell with all the I want you back nonsense plan. Oh God, please. Oh. So beautiful to see you again. Emeka, are you stalking me? Do you want me to get a restraining order against you? Oh, come on, babe. That would be too dramatic for you to do. <laughs> you know your greatest undoing will be to underestimate me. With me. Excuse me, I have it. You have a date? Really? Listen, I'll never let you date another man apart from me. I'll never let you have children with other men. <laughs> Joker, who do you think you are? I'm the man you fell in love with. I'm the man who truly loves you. The man who is ready to do anything possible to win back the woman he once lost. Babe, look at us. We love each other. Let's start all over again. Let's bring back that child we once lost. You knew? Who are you? Who are you to talk to me in that manner? How dare you remind me of the past? I lost that child because of you. I'm sorry. Excuse me! I'm and I can get out! Who's there? I'm coming. Even if you have nothing to do with me anymore, please, allow me to console you. Kindly allow me to comfort you like I never had the chance to do three years ago. Sorry. I know I hurt you. 
<laughs> I know you hate me. I know you don't ever want to see me. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I have to stay now. There you go. Some coffee. Thank you. Do you feel any better? I suppose. I haven't cried this much since three years after I lost my baby. I'm so sorry, Chinea. I know. I realized the genuinity in your voice. How did you find out? I mean, about the pregnancy. I saw the lab test results after you left. I mean, I saw where you trashed them. And um, how did you find out about the fact that I miscarried? Your mother told me. God rest her soul. Mm. She told me during one of my visits to the house. I guess it, it was a huge mess, especially the divorce. If only you had given me the chance to explain myself. I never cheated on you, Chinaya. I swear I never did. What about Ella? I saw you two in bed, remember? You saw and interpreted what Ella wanted you to see. Everything you saw was Ella trying to break us up. And she succeeded. Yes, she did. I was going to say uh, thanks for coming around. You're welcome. You know, I'm here to meet the potential daddy to my baby. Some man told me that uh, he's willing to fill in the role. And trust me, you will never find a better candidate. How sure are you? Because I love you. And if you give me the chance, Chinaya, if you take me back, I promise to love you. I promise to never hurt you again. And I promise to give you a lot of children. Really? Yeah. I love you. I love you more. But I never stopped loving you. Really? And I never will. <laughs> Thanks. Eat your food. Toast. Okay. To love. Yeah, to love. Okay, can we eat now? Sure. Hey, I love you. I love you too.
The type that comes from above is so powerful and wonderful. It's like a gift passed from God. Oh, when it fights you, you'll be hooked. Oh, when it fights you, you'll have no choice but to love. It doesn't matter. Whether rich or poor, oh well, I fight you. You have no other choice but to love and be loved and be done. No one can stop it. No matter what they do or say, oh, because it's the kind of love from God. The love is a gift. Is a waste of time when you see 